Welcome to the Humans vs. Retirement podcast with me, Dan Haylett. This show will help you navigate the intricate financial and non-financial landscape of retirement planning, investment and income strategies, and the human experience beyond the traditional work-life paradigm. Join me as I delve into the challenges, triumphs, and unexpected journeys individuals face as they transition into this new phase of life. From experts across many different areas to personal stories, we uncover the secrets, insights, and practical tips to empower you on your retirement journey. Whether you're just starting to consider retirement or already enjoying this chapter, this podcast is your guide to making the most out of this remarkable phase of life. Now, on to the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Humans versus Retirement podcast. I'm your host, Dan Haler. Today's episode is looking at the brilliant, wonderful, eye opening, slightly mind blowing Harvard 85 year study and how it unlocks the secrets to a long and happy life and how it can make sure that you retire with a bang. Retirement, as I've said many times before, marks the passage into a phase of life many look forward to with great anticipation. Yet often with an undercurrent of uncertainty, it's a time characterized by significant lifestyle shifts and the quest for a deeply satisfying post-career life. But the big question really is, what truly makes for a happy and prolonged retirement? Well, the revelations from the Harvard study of adult development, one of the most comprehensive longitudinal studies on aging and well-being, gives us invaluable insights to those on the cusp of this life-changing transition. The study, which tracked the lives of 724 men over 75 years, has shed light on the factors that contribute to our happiness and health as we age. So let's delve into some of the key takeaways from this groundbreaking research and how you can apply them to your retirement planning. First key takeaway is to to cultivate strong relationships. The Harvard study um, found that relationships are a cornerstone of happiness and longevity. It's not about the number of friends or social engagements, but the quality of your close relationships that matters. In retirement, you have the golden opportunity to invest time and energy into your relationships. Consider activities that can strengthen bonds with family and friends, such as regular meals, joining clubs, volunteering, or even taking part in group travel. The next key takeaway is embrace new challenges. Retirement doesn't mean the end of growth or challenge, right? The study highlights that those who continue to engage in activities that challenge their brains and bodies tended to stay healthier longer. Keep learning, be it through taking classes, learning new languages, picking new musical instruments. Engaging in such pursuits can be really fulfilling and neuroprotective. The next lesson is financial stability is crucial, but not all encompassing. While financial security is important, the Harvard study points out that it isn't the silver bullet for happiness in old age. It's the peace of mind that financial stability brings that contributes to well-being. Therefore, financial planning for retirement is critical, not just to cover the basics, but to ensure you can afford to engage in activities that bring you joy and satisfaction. The next lesson is prioritize your health. Good physical health is undeniably linked to happiness in retirement, but it's the proactive approach to health that makes a difference. This includes regular exercise, eating well, and getting adequate sleep. Habits that are best established before retirement and carried into it. The next lesson I think is a really crucial one to understand, and that is attitude is everything. 
Perhaps one of the most compelling findings from the study is that people who were the happiest in retirement were those who maintained a positive outlook on life. I want to repeat that. The study found that the people who were happiest in retirement were those who maintained a positive outlook on life. Approaching retirement as a new chapter filled with opportunities can significantly influence your enjoyment of it. The next lesson is giving back feels good. The retirees in the study who engaged in altruistic activities like volunteering in their communities reported higher levels of happiness. Retirement can be a wonderful time to give back using your skills and experience to benefit others, which in turn enriches your own life. The last lesson is simplify your life. The study's octogenarians showed that living a life that's not overly complicated can contribute to happiness. This could mean downsizing your home, decluttering your space, or reducing unnecessary expenses. Actions that align with a more simplified and focused lifestyle. As you approach retirement, consider the lessons from the Harvard study, not just interesting findings, but as a blueprint for crafting a fulfilling life beyond your working years. The study's message is clear. Relationships, continuous personal growth, and a positive, proactive approach to life are what ultimately lead to a long and joyous retirement. As you prepare to make the transition, or if you've already made the transition, let's go back and revisit this, take time to reflect on these principles. How will you foster relationships in your newfound time? What challenges and pursuits excite you? And how can you prioritize your well being and maintain an optimistic perspective? Remember, big lesson retirement is not just an end, it's a beginning. With the wisdom garnered from one of the longest studies on adult life, you can navigate this beginning with confidence, creating a retirement that's not just long, but also rich in happiness. Hope that made sense. Thanks once again for listening. Take care. See you soon.